Um, uh, a tough decision to have to be made. Yeah, really tough. Um, difficult weekend, um, but I think it's really important. The club comes first. When you've got to make a decision like this, and, and uh, we've certainly done that. And um, you know, it's, it's it's been a difficult time for everyone involved. It's, you know, it's not easy at the best of times having a discussion like that, but especially somebody you, you think a lot about and. Um, but um, you know, I just felt we've we'll, we'll not been on the right path and we need to change direction and um, you know, the club has to come first. Have the play, players taken the news? Yeah, players are pretty resilient. Um, you know, you, you'll find a, a real mixed bag. There'll be some that are you know, particularly close with Dave and there are some who are probably not not getting in the side or feel like they're on the fringe of it. Who, um, He'll move on very, very quickly. Um, the good thing is they've trained really well this morning. Um, you know, we've got a big game ahead of us this weekend, and it gives them something really good to focus on. In the short term, uh, Richard Agar will take charge at Bradford on, on Saturday. A massive game for the team. Yeah, a huge game. Um, you know, it's it's like going back in time with those big old soul derbies, and um, you know, Bradford have done it tough over the last couple of years, but hopefully, it won't be too long for the back in Super League and. And challenging again, and and um, but no, we look forward to going there. I think, um, you know, especially on the, the back of the disappointment this weekend and where we are today. Um, you know, I think it's really important the club pulled together, and uh, we uh, we need everybody to to get behind and and stick tight, and we'll do everything we can to improve. What was it that that brought about the, the decision to to let Dave go? Uh, yeah, a number of things. I, I think it's, you know, people probably think it's a knee jerk reaction or it's too early or you know, I'm in, inexperienced in this role, but um, certainly been considered. Certainly something we've thought about um, and um, monitored for some time. It's really important we, we start down this transitional period and on the right footing. And, you know, at the minute, unfortunately, I just feel that. You know, we're trying to build a wall on sand rather than on solid foundations, and um, you know there are a number of things. That, but you know, ultimately, I, I don't believe this is a four from fourteen squad, and um, you know, and then the concerning thing is I didn't see any real sign of improvement, and any sign of us getting better. And, um, you know, we need to make sure that we we're on the right footing and we're on the right path and. Uh, you know, we have to change direction. When you arrived back at the club less than 10 months ago, you said it was going to be a long-term uh, transition to, to to rebuild what you wanted the club to be. Can you believe how tough it's been over that, that 10 months? No, it's been really tough. Um, you know, I can stand there and lie to you and tell you, you know, it's, it's all been plain sailing, but it's pretty clear that um, it's been a real difficult period. Um, you know, right, the challenge has certainly got one. Um, there's a lot to fix up. Um, we're all responsible and accountable, uh, players included, for where we currently find ourselves, and we need to do something about it. So, um, throughout my whole career, um, the tough decisions have always been the ones that define you, and, and sometimes you've got to be brave and bold. And um, you know, as difficult as this one has been, and uh, as horrible as it's been, uh, hopefully we can set off on the right path again.